Welcome to the second part of our video series looking at suspension joints. In the first part of the series, we looked at lifetime himes, rod ends, poly bushings, and johnny joints. In this second part, we're going to cover anti wobbles and uniballs. Let's get to it. First, we'll look at a TMR uniball package. The uniball is very similar to a rod end, except it has no threaded shank. They're often used on A-arms or control arms where you want a fixed length and no adjustments needed. Since there's no jamina to loosen off, the joint can potentially ever walk itself out. The uniball itself is held in the cup using a clip. You simply weld the cup onto your fabrication, then install the ball and the clip. You can also add a pair of high misalignment spacers to increase flex and travel, just like you would in a chromoly rod end. Uniballs are high strength, can utilize large bolts and provides tons of flex and misalignment. The drawback to uniballs is climate. If you see lots of mud, salt, or debris, these aren't for you. Consider using a lifetime pine as it's greasable and sealed. Similar to a rod end, when a uniball wears out, toss it in the garbage, replace it with a new one. Like a rod end, you can often reuse your stainless steel high misalignment spacers. Next, we'll look at a TMR anti wobble. Our anti wobble was designed to be used on trailing arms or leading arms, often seen on desert cars or high speed applications. By mounting your shocks to the trailing arm instead of directly on the axle, you can increase wheel travel. With their desert origins, the rule of thumb with trailing arms was always to mount the shock below center arm. This prevents the arm from twisting over and rolling or breaking the shock eyes. While this works great on a desert truck, it doesn't work so great on an Ultra 4, Rock Bouncer, or Rock Crawler. What happens when you smash that arm off a rock or a stump? It'll allow that trailing arm to pivot, which will put the shock eyes in bind, breaking them or the shock shaft. So we came up with a better solution. We mount the shock eyes above center line for increased ground clearance. Then we want an anti-wobble at the chassis side to prevent the shock eyes from rolling over. Our anti-wobble allows the arm to only rotate eight degrees total. You need to make sure you pair the axle end joint with something that has high misalignment, either a TMR lifetime high, chromoly rod end, or a uniball. Now let's take a look at the two versions of TMR anti-wobbles. The first is our original. It's available in a 2 and 5 eighths width or 4 inch width. We suggest the 2 and 5 eighths width if you're trying to fit a bracket that's that size or you're very limited for space. We suggest the 4 inch width if you want to run a larger tube or a fabricated arm. Both are available with 5 eighths or 3 quarter inch pull. The next version is our anti wobble with stem, also known as the Berkey ball. Years ago, professional rock bouncer Jake Berkey was running a set of fabricated arms on his right buggy. Needless to say, due to the poor ground clearance, he mangled them in no time. We worked directly with Jake to develop a trailing arm kit that would stand up to the rigors of rock bouncing. His two requirements were a weldable stem on the anti-wobble, as well as a one-inch bolt for increased strength. The Berkey ball also runs a massive inch and a half uniball surrounded by stainless steel spacers and Delrin. You can purchase the Berkey ball on its own or as part of a complete trailing arm kit that uses a massive inch and three-quarter lifetime high on the axle end. And with that added knowledge, you're now an expert on choosing suspension joints. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll debunk some common terms and help you choose the right measurements for your builds. Happy trailing!